What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see from the title, we are finally adding our Boomba engine mount. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So what is the engine mount? Okay, what is, oh my God, I just uh, stalled. <laughs> Dude, it's been a while since I drove this, okay? So, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Gee, I stalled so hard, my mic flew, bro. My, <laughs> my, my mic was embarrassed of me. <laughs> Don't stall again. I might stall again. With the engine mount, pretty much it will stabilize the engine when I'm doing hard accelerations launches and it'll reduce all the wheel hop still getting the maximum performance okay so if you don't know a front wheel drive when you launch your car it hops crazy and i'm going to show you what it looks like from the inside and outside of marshall's bumper here um the more the tires are heat up the more hops it's gonna we're gonna we're gonna get from launching the car so i'm gonna do a lot first gear pull here we go So, not that much actually right now. What? When oh, launch wait, my traction even on? Sorry, traction sorry, sorry, sorry. I got time. Sorry, guys. Okay, so let's uh, inexperienced driver. retake that. I haven't done this in a long time. Okay, traction controls off. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, let's, let's do one more take right here. See that? Oh, 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 oh. Jeez, so fast. This car is crazy. Uh, as you can see, what is that? That train's not moving. Bro, Jerry, that's crazy. That's the first time I see a train that's not moving. Anyways, uh, as you can see, guys, that was the amount of hops. So, Jerry, let's go outside and show them what it looks like on the outside. With the launch control, um, I don't know if you see. I don't know if you can tell from the camera. Maybe not, but inside it was like, gung, 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 gung. <laughs> it was like it's like an earthquake, bro. We're gonna go ahead and swap it out for the Boomba one now, and then let's see how much difference it makes. I'm gonna launch it again one more time here. This car is really fun to launch. So 4,000 RPM. See it? See it? Oh. Oh. So light hop right there, as you can see from the camera. Type bar, you know what that means? We got initiate pull. Oh, that's a hop, guys. You see that? That was a perfect example of a hop. By the way, we raced the Type R in San Diego, and we give him the the walk in the WRX. I think I uh, not walk, but you know we had a, it was a fun race. Uh, but we definitely beat him by a good three to four car gaps with three passengers in the car, including <laughs> me. And I'm I'm heavy, you know. So. Boomba, by the way, I have the Boomba bypass though that I didn't put on yet. So we're gonna do that after this, okay? The next video. So here it is. Uh, see, it's pretty straightforward. You just use OEM bolts and lock it in. And and then uh, they come in different colors too. Um, they sent us the blue one, because I think, check out the red one. But honestly, you won't see another car. Yeah. yeah, so it doesn't really matter. But we're gonna head get the car up and then I'll show you guys how to put this on. And we'll do a testing afterwards. So let's get some B-rolls, Jerry. Here you go. B-roll. <laughs> <laughs> the new one that people are getting, uh, it might fit the new one too, the 2023 plus. Yeah, so guys, the lift's coming out soon. So anyways, back to our install. This is what we're replacing today. Look at that. So the engine is shaking like crazy and causing a lot of vibration through the car. You know, making it to wheel hop and you lose speed as you go into the drag strip. Dude, let's go drag ship Thursday. We should go this day. Hey, Jerry, you take the launcher, I'll take the debris. I'll give you the smoke. But, you know, nah, it's gonna be fun, funny, you know? Bro. Dude, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So this Thursday, we're gonna go drag strip and then we'll get some videos for you guys later. But as you can see, anyways, so here's the stock um, engine mount. Seems like we just remove this bolt, slide it through, and then we reuse these OEMs. Yeah, 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 so yeah. let's just get started. You will need a 17 for the front part of the engine mount, okay? And then we also need a 14 for the back. So Let's get started. Oh man, it's not even that tight. Ah. So 14, yeah, 14 for this, and then a 17 for this. Yeah, this one's gonna be kinda hard, because uh, a little boy here ain't gonna work.
Focus this is actually cool. probably one of the easiest install mods we've done. Also, look at guys, the engine filter and then the engine, everything is uh, mm -hmm. all right here. So it's really nice, very convenient. That's a nice thing about Hyundai. Oh, check out Resin Daily, guys. If you haven't seen it yet under the car, oh man, it's hot. All right, guys, so drop this and then we're gonna do the, I'm gonna go ahead and change this 14 out. But let's compare these two. Let's get, boom, just like that. All right, guys, for comparison, um, I can see why, because this has a lot of rubber flex in it, versus this one just stands still. Yeah, so straight, so. Here's a reference, guys. So let's go ahead and let's put it back. So I would say this is like really good starter mod, guys, because, you know, you're driving the car every day, and I think re reducing this engine hop definitely makes it a lot more fun. You're gonna feel more engine vibration. We'll find out. Okay, guys, like I said, when you put things back, don't always force it by, uh, fork everything down. Let's put everything in first, by hand. I'm not gonna say anything, Jerry. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I don't know, man. I know you think about something. <laughs> Two in the bag. And the OEM one. So these are 75 to torque these out, and these are 45 in the back. So very straightforward. So I'm gonna tie it down, and then uh, quickest install ever, guys, today, to be honest. We're on the road now with the new Boomba uh, engine mount. So install was super simple as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead to the same location and we're gonna do a first gear launch control on the inside and outside again to see if we get some uh, dramatic changes. Uh, off the back, I do feel the more vibrations a little bit um, through my through the seats. Probably because a little bit stiffer now. But let's see. Alright guys, we're gonna do a first gear launch control. Okay, here we go. You had to step on the, like you had to mash. There you go. Oh yeah, a lot less. Oh yeah, a lot oh, less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, wow. Shit thing's a lot better. Yeah, a lot better guys. No more, I think it, it had a slight weight hop, but I think it reduces it by like 95%. Yeah, no more. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. So uh, this actually works, guys, like crazy. I didn't, I didn't expect it, to be honest, I didn't expect it to make a huge difference, but it really does. Um, like I said, but I am feeling some a little bit of vibrations right now from under, under my seat. I, I, I believe we need to break this in. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll do another review in like maybe like a couple thousand miles after we add some miles on the car. So I'm gonna have Jerry go outside, get clip from the outside, I'm gonna launch it again from the outside. <laughs> Still shakes a little bit from the outside. Yeah, it's still shaking a little bit, but gotten a lot better than before. For today's video, um, it's been it's, it's been nice driving the Elantra again. It's, I, honestly, it's been like three weeks since I touched this car, but man, every time I hop in this, it's something. You know, if you haven't tried Elantra yet, I mean, you don't have to buy one. Go to dealership and test one. It's nice, like you know, it's nice, uh, especially with the Boomba now. It definitely, like I said, it oh, didn't. What? 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 No, Elantra and you. Can you just get the. Quack, quack. Tell me, Jerry. Look at what? that. It's a wide Elantra N. Yeah. Oh, God damn, he broke so hard. Dude, I was like, you like, oh my God, Jerry. Jesus Christ. Don't have a, have a co-pilot like Jerry, because like, you're giving me a heart attack right now. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Anyways. Yeah, with the Boomba, it definitely reduced like 9% of the wheel hop, 995. It didn't reduce everything 100%, but I think for uh, for the price paying for like, what, $250, $300? Um, I think it's a really good mod to have. Like I said, um, the wheel hops, the, or a lot less and my, my shifting feels a lot more smoother too now. I don't feel like crazy, but I do get a slight, a slight vibration, not much, but overall it's pretty good mod. I give it a install, 10 out of 10. That's how easy it is, super easy. Obviously you need the car on the lift, but if not, you can still do it with jack stands. But yeah guys, I uh, hope you liked today's uh, content today we did for the Elantra. 
we have the downpipe next for this car and i think that's it for now might have a couple more exterior mods coming soon so stay tuned for comment, that comment down below if you want to see a different set of wheels <laughs> yeah comment down <laughs> i think we'll stay with one set of wheels or maybe two sets but for now but yeah comment below guys all right guys thanks for watching make sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you guys next time peace